What's going on, Z Warriors? Mr. Waffles here. We're here with Joseph Polici's Red Frieza deck. So, we're going to just take a look and do the run through. We have Frieza 1 through 4, obviously, in the Red Mastery. Uh, he's playing three Dragon Balls Dragon Ball 3, Dragon Ball 5, and Dragon Ball 6. For physicals, we have three Red Shoulder Grab, uh, three Red Double Strike, three Red Palm Strike, three Red Knee Lift, three Red Heel Kick, three Red Bright Cross, sorry for the glare. Um, Three red power punch, and for the physical blocks we have three red block in hand, um, three red restraint, and for energies we have three red static shot, three red surrounding beams, three freezes supernova, and for blocks we have three red sacrifice, three red uh, defensive any defensive stand, and for combats we have two red stop, one time, uh, three red city destruction. And for drills, we play. He plays three red embarrassing drill, three red blaze, two visiting the past, and one villainous visage. So, tell me about the deck. Why red Frieza as opposed to you know red Vegeta or red Raditz or something like that? So I had to play someone who could benefit from do, performing large physicals. So my choices were either Frieza or Trunks. And I tried Trunks, but because he doesn't have actions himself during combat, I tend I tended to be behind. Hmm. So doing Frieza allowed me to benefit off of the red sacrifices, off of the red restraints. Um, yeah, the you copying. Know, you know, copying and discard. You know, allowing me to discard cards. Um, oh, you know. yeah, pretty much it. Um, now I saw a couple of things. Um, as you can see, I know you play three uh, Red Blaze, but uh, what about Red Destiny, um, since it gains you two and it's minus two, minus two? Um, in my opinion, uh, this still gains me two anger, mm -hmm. but uh, I'd rather be able to use a critical damage effect than negate some of your damage. Because yeah. I'm playing Frieza, so I mean, I'm not playing as, much, as many blocks as most Frieza decks, but I still don't get yeah. hurt by as many attacks. Okay, cool. I'm gaining anger too quickly. Yeah, I, I really like how you just play three supernovas. So originally, did you have like all six Frieza named cards, and you were just like, that's just too inconsistent, too much? Or? Um, yeah. At first, when I first started playing, I was playing the deck during set one too. I was playing the captive strikes, and it was taking up a lot of space that I could have played with attacks that I actually wanted to use because I never wanted to actually attack with captive strike. <laughs> so I, at one point, had cut all six Frieza cards. And then decided just to put back in the supernovas since level four. I can still search for them. Yeah. So you know, if I don't hit them early game, they're there late game for me to you know add card advantage. And five base, so it's good. So you're yeah. not trying to get too greedy. Rather like sacrifice, I guess, damage for consistency, which is always a better option yeah. for sure. Now I also saw um, like the red power punch. Um, how do you like that card? Do you think it's you know subpar? So you know, would you take it out for something else? I think it's okay. Um, I, searching for the drill is cool. Um, I guess the endurance is The nice. endurance is good. Uh, I've, I've thought, it's like the one card I've thought about still cutting. Yeah. So one thing I'm not entirely sure of. You'd rather have a card that gains you anger or something yeah. like that. Yeah, you know, at the moment, my own, the only other thing I was thinking of was, uh, Red Power Rush. Mm -hmm. Because it gains me the anger, it does the same amount of damage. Yeah. Or you can look into Red Combined Blast, which is, uh... I thought about that, too. It has... Yeah. Endurance 3 and then gains you anger. Yeah. And stuff like that, so... You know, so that's a, that's another option if I wanted... To, if I thought about needing another energy attack to deal with Wall Breaker. Yeah. But at the moment, I played against Wall Breaker last night. And I didn't... I, you know, I, ha I got lucky. You know, mm -hmm. and drew into the answers that mm -hmm. I needed, but they worked. Yeah. Well, so. your deck is kind of made to just kind of deal with the answers. I mean, even the supernova for five is a potential. Yeah. All crater. Of my energy attacks do a base of five damage. Yeah. So, so I'm I'm automatically trying to hit you for crit. Yeah, which is really good. So, which leads to my next question: uh, How do you deal with wall breaker? Is it um, is it a harder issue for you to deal with compared to other decks? Because it seems like a lot of people wouldn't even play, or let alone touch Frieza, because it's like, oh, wall breaker, I can't do anything. But for you, it's, you know. Um, because of the fact that most of my attacks secondarily gain me anger, my goal, because of wall breaker, is to try and hyper myself to three. Because at least then, you know, my base damage is increased by three stages. Yeah. So if you hit, if I make it to three before you can wall breaker me, like, haha, yeah. now you have to deal with that much damage being done to you. Yeah, that's And true. then I just, you know, I either shoulder grab or energy attack it off. Yeah. And I also saw the, the, the Dragon Ball since you were just playing uh, 
three, five, and six? Is it just uh, anger gain, just for the most part, or is there any other? Um, three and five are mostly because they gain the anger. Um, I play six because Frieza has an a low power up rating. Yeah. So it, it allows Frieza to regain some stages since I have the supernovas that cost me three, and all the other energy attacks, and then I have Palm Strike that costs. A f cost a stage to play, right cross cost four stages, so it allows me to regain my stages back pretty quickly. Awesome, and how do you like Palm Strike? Um, I love Palm Strike. Yeah. Um, I think it was one of the best cards that they gave us. Yeah. Um, you know, the yeah. fact that it gives me two anger if it hits, and then if I happen to shoulder grab, like, I get three, yeah. just because, that that's awesome. Yeah, that's really sick. And then, what about City Destruction? Uh, that wanna... is probably the best card Red has ever got. So, that's probably like your MVP of the deck, oh, you would yeah. say? Oh, yeah, for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. Let's take a look at it, you know. So good. Uh, the the fact that I can that I've I've been I can use it to steal back a Dragon Ball that's just been stolen from me, and then I still have all the I get to keep my anger. It allows me to, you know, during that during if I do it on my turn, I have my turn and your turn that I can uh, use palm. If I use Palm Strike, I can now reduce your endurance for two turns yep. to zero. Yeah, you know, that's true. And uh, then, it allows me lift to possibly to, to do two. Yeah. To gain me two anger. Uh, yeah. Heel kick only cost me one anger yeah. to get back something, which is cool. That's true. That's really good. And I like the the setups that you play. You keep it very simple, but at the same time, like they're effective. You yeah. know, so uh, I like um, that. Visiting the past, I just actually added yesterday. Okay. I back and forth with that card a lot. Um, but I added it yesterday before a tournament just to try it out, and, and it, you know, came in really handy. Yeah. Because I was able to get back, like, energy attacks that I needed. Yeah, and stuff like that, you which know. is always good. You know, so it offers that safe, I guess, that got that safeguard that, that you that know. That reassurance, you yeah. know, it, it lets me get back blocks. Yeah. Once, then, I, once I effectively know what my opponent's playing. So, yeah. like, later in the game, i just visiting the pass for whatever block I yeah. know I need. Yeah. And then any other drills you're considering playing, or you just think, like, three embarrassing is just all you need? Um, uh, at one point, I was playing two tactical drill. Uh, yeah. Just to give me something else to search out with Power Punch, but uh, you know, too more than more than the embarrassing drills just got in the way. Yeah, it was too many non-combat cards, so mm -hmm. I I cut it down to the embarrassing drills. Yeah, and then they have the endurance. And again, you have the City Destruction. That yeah, essentially, you know, kind of. Yeah, it does kind of the same thing. Yeah, it's not a bad card if you enter. Yeah, I'm not really losing anger outside of that at this point. Exactly. Yeah, it looks great. I mean, uh, I saw in. Uh, the matches yesterday, how quickly you just like leveled up and things like that. So, any advice you would give to Red Freezer players? Anything that you would um, say? Don't feel bad that the energy suck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the physicals make up for it. Yeah, for sure. You know, so, you know, again, I like what you did here. You know, your very creative build that you have really did well in the tournaments, you know, these past couple of weeks with it. And, you know, despite Wall Breaker being a thing, you know, I think. Red does have more of the answers to it because, you know, you have the, the shoulder grab, which can go into, like, the double strike, so, you know, they need to make sure they have some stuff. And another question, also, why no red left bolt? Is it because that's, like, more of a combo-based thing, or you rather can't afford the stages, or...? Um, it, it was more, it's more because of it's, it's a combo-type setup, and mm -hmm. I don't, the deck doesn't set up that combo too well unless I have the red blazes. Yeah. I'm not putting a lot of things on the bottom, mm -hmm. so I didn't want to have to, you know... Yeah. A lot of times, you know, there'll there'll be a Dragon Ball on the bottom if it gets hit there, so I didn't want to have to draw into that. I'd rather, you know, play other attacks. Yeah, that's true. Awesome. So thanks again for the deck list. Again, everyone, this is his take on Red Frieza. So if you like what you saw, just remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And, you know, any deck can be viable. It's just a matter of how you play it, and he plays it really well, and, you know, what to... Just make sure that your deck is suitable for the for the meta. So thanks again, Polici, for sure. And uh, we'll see you soon.